Hello and welcome to the demo on how to use Typhoon Test Automation with Protection Relays. This is the schematic model that we are going to use for testing the functionality of interfacing with the relay. To test this, we have modeled this very simple system. On the top, you can see the component representing the grid connected through a line to two loads. On the left side, we have error load and on the right side, we also have another error load, but this side is protected by contactor that is going to be activated by the protection relay in the case of faults like this short circuit that we modeled. Here we have a simple panel where we are going to show you how to interface with relay. On the left side we have Ethernet communication to relay and on the right UART communication to relay. So we can start simulating and try to get the relay ID from the network. Here you can see that we get device ID CAL751 relay connected. Here on the panel we can do simple commands to relay like relay open or relay closed. We can also do relay reset. There is also possibility to set parameters, get configuration or set configuration for relay. This is something that we are going to use while doing test automation so you can see how it's done through automated environment. Here on the right side we have UART communication and you can change parameters and configuration, but also you can change the firmware. So here, when we get relay ID, we can see that we have firmware version 0. So let's upload it to version 1. First, we have to open serial port and start the firmware update. Ok. Update is finished and here we can see that version is updated and now it's version 1. Now we should go through test we have here. Firstly, we just have to upload necessary libraries from Typhoon Hill API, Typhoon Test API, build in libraries from Python and of course library that we are used to communicate with our relay through Ethernet. The logic is starting here with the setup function. That's where we load our schematic models and compile them. Then we load compile model to the hill. We set the grid sign weights to the right values of amplitude, frequency and phase. Then we connect to the relay and get some basic information and we check if we really have the right model here and inform the user that we are connected. That's the setup part. The test itself starts here where test relay protection function is defined. We can see that we parameterize this test function with different set of settings. The first one that we called wrong have the wrong value of current for the short circuit protection. Meaning it would be too high so when the short circuit kicks in it's not going to detect it and it's going to leave circuit connected. The other one is set on settings that it's going to have the right value of short circuit and it's going to open the contactor in the case of short circuit. The logic of the test starts with downloading the configuration to relay, starting the simulation, starting the capture of the signals we are interested in. We wait one second before setting the grid fault to short circuit to that line where we have the second load. Then we wait one second just to capture all of the results. Also we are now verifying the contactor feedback in this relay closed variable.
Basically, we need to check if relay is not closed. We also stop the simulation here. And that's our test. So what we can do now is just run it and see how it behaves. So our test is finished. Now we can open the report and see the two tests that we had. This one that we passed we can see the signals that we captured. For example currents. We can see that if we go really high and then goes back down to zero, that means that probably our relay acted and opened the contactor to protect that line and stop feeding the short circuit. We can basically confirm this by the contactor feedback signal and we can see that contactor went down to zero, meaning that contactor is open. And that's why this test is passed. However, this other test is not passed. We can see here that current stays at the high level after the short circuit and the contactor feedback signal is still on 1, so there were no protection actions on that feeder. So this is how we can use Typhoon Hill test communicating with the relay to check different configurations and verify if the correct behavior is assured.